just feel privileged. The Chipping Norton Stakes today, one of the two Group 1s in Sydney. Won last year by Tiako Shark and then Surround. How good was Probable last week? She was the winner last year. And Jamie Richards, just a huge hour combining with Opie Boss and Winks. Well, she won the Chipping Norton four times. Tie the knot the same. We'll speak about both throughout the afternoon. Chris Waller with a huge hand, four of the nine runners in the Chipping Norton. And the Guineas at Flemings and today, Alligator Blood last year. It was Mystic Journey the year before, Grunt the year before that. So Group 1 racing in both states, wonderful support cards and so many chapters to follow horses that are doing extraordinary things like racing from one of the best views in the house, talking with some of the best minds in racing, that famous Flemington Straight. The 1,000 and the 1,200 have become so iconic. And, well, who wins today when it really matters? Great to see helicopters going to headquarters again. Welcome. We're sensational again. When you look at the autumn, it's hard not to be excited. Eight Saturdays on Channel 7, 25 Group 1 races, three of them this afternoon. Look at those races worth a million dollars or more. 17, and you can see what lies ahead finishing with the championships. Just so exciting. And today, the menu, well, it's appetising. Isn't it? We've got the three-year-olds racing for glory in the Guineas and the return bout in Sydney and the Chipping Norton are very elegant in Colette. And... The two-year-olds are only three weeks away from the Golden Slipper and they're trying to stake their claim, the Phillies and the Colts, in the Skyline and the Sweet Embrace. It's exciting. And I know there's a man that's going to be very excited in the South Australian. Katie's always excited. Katie, you look wonderful as always. And Bruce, so many horses and stories to follow this afternoon. Good afternoon to you both. To you, Haim, and to Katie, and also to Henry. And for the first time, Haim, Group 1 racing in both Sydney and Melbourne for this autumn. So we're stepping up a notch each week, aren't we? There are a lot of horses. I'm going to start with the Hero Vinny. Left Melbourne is a very modest horse. He's won his last 11 races. It's quite remarkable. We see him back in Melbourne today. We wish him well. It's like a Hollywood story. And so is this one, Mystic Journey. 11,000 bucks she cost out of Tassie. She's won nearly 4 million. Can she resurrect herself? She won a guineas on this day two years ago. Montefilia, two Group 1s in the spring. She returns in the surround. And very elegant. I think she's the number one racehorse in Australia, but she needs to win today, Haim, to maintain that status. A lot of questions will be asked over the next four or five hours and we're going to get some answers. We are, Bruce. She's looking for a seventh Group 1. And, well, Katie, you've ridden a Group 1. Just take us through the Book of Rides at Flemington and choose a couple of jockeys you'd like to talk about. Well, I've had the star on Jamie Carr the last three weeks, but I've put the star on Luke Curry because he is riding so well and he's got a great book of rides today. Of course, he won the Blue Diamond last week on Astorius and he's got the favourite today in the Guineas in Tagaloa. Mystic Journey from Tassie, Graceful Glamour, a favourite of Bruce and I's. Uh, she's she's a beautiful horse. And he's got Haydock, who won the Guineas uh, back in uh, 2017 with Luke Curry on board. So it's a favourite of his. He's got to carry the grandstand, though, in the Bob Hoisted with 63 kilos. And Jamie Carr, of course, she's got a great book of rides. Zoo Dancer, uh, the filly in the Guineas, is a great chance. And Superdar, I think, is a great chance as well for Godolphin Yard. But Jamie, she's still going so well. She's still dominating Victorian racing. She's leading the Premiership. The 68 winners. Is it too early to start counting down to her 1,000 winners in her career, Haim? I don't think so. I think she's going to get there, absolutely. And... It's just a fabulous story to continue to enjoy. And Lester is with you. So Group 1s in both states. Montefilia already won a couple. Very elegant. Half a dozen. In fact, at Flemington, there's eight Group 1 winners. So too at Randwick. So hopefully you can settle in somewhere, have a cup of tea or two or something stronger. Enjoy the sport of racing. And we've got a story on an old favourite who had a bit of a health scare this week. I speak of Apache Cat and Tiako Shark a year after winning on this day at Randwick. And the Chipping Norton, we pay tribute to him and we just look forward to what should be a special day's racing. More coming up on the other side. Autumn in Melbourne is just a beautiful time to be a part of. It's um, usually really calm, lovely weather and Flemington never disappoints. Most people always think that the, the Spring Carnival is just a Flemington over those five days. But coming into the new year, it's nearly those same group of horses all competing back at this beautiful track here at Flemington and running down that great straight. I, I love Flemington. I love the track. I love being in Melbourne. And they know how to put a show on. The VRC know exactly how to make people enjoy themselves when they come to the races. The Kennedy Australian Guineas is a magnificent race this year and uh, outside of the racing, on course, we have a lot of great things going on. Something for everybody. We've got beer gardens on the front lawn, we've got music and entertainment, we've got a stage actually down near the Elms. 
Super Saturday is a fantastic day. We have two Group 1s, we have the Sepult Wines, Newmarket Handicap, and of course the Tab Australian Cup. I'm looking forward to crowds coming back on course. It's great for us to be performed in front of great crowds. And when it comes to the Festival of Racing, it's not just about the horses on show, it's also the culinary experience, and they've got a great family atmosphere. So we've got a carnival atmosphere and lots of games and magic and so forth, so it'll be a great day for families, great day for people to come out and enjoy sitting in the sun and enjoying the beer gardens and of course great racing. Autumn racing is special, a group one at Fleming of that age.